What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. So today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to talk about my B44 Bark River Blade or uh, commonly known as the Marine Raider buoy. So this has been another grill of mine, man. Lucked out on. I've been looking for this for years too. I've, I've been wanting to get this buoy for a long time, but it's been just uh, evading me. And then when you do come up on eBay, they're like, people want like five, six, seven hundred bucks, which I'm not going to pay that for a knife. Uh, it's cool. It's freaking badass. But just for me, I, I just not willing to pay that. So lucked out on eBay. This came up for a really good price. And then guy had to make an offer. I made an offer kind of low in my opinion. But I was like, ah, what the hell? It's worth a shot. And the guy accepted. So brand new in the box. Even came with the sleeve that you put the blade in. The sheath itself is still in the bag. Um, just a beautiful sheath, man. I'm not even gonna open it. The bag's not even open, it's still vacuum sealed. So I'm not even gonna open it, I'm just gonna leave it in there. But you guys can see, it has the Bark River, you guys. Beautiful, I mean, they do awesome leather work. Look how thick that belt is, I mean, just awesome, awesome. I mean, this is just, this is gonna be a collector for sure for me. This is a real rare buoy. And the reason why this is a collector is because this is a first production run buoy here. So, just uh they always do the sheets just great you know just freaking awesome has a little frog that you can pull that down so if you want to just put this in your bag or something or you know if you don't want to wear it as a belt you put it on your belt but you can take it out take this off with the knife in it if you want um look at that stitching just beautiful beautiful stitching and i do apologize again for having the bag on it but i want to keep it pristine you know um i love it i mean they always do the, some of the best sheets in the business i would say bark river for sure for sure so let's get into the actual buoy here and get into some specs Check how beautiful this is. And again, brand new in the box. This was not a used knife. Um, it's absolutely perfect, brand new condition. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this. Right there, it says your first production run. Look how beautiful this brass guard is. Just absolutely amazing. This side, you have the Bark River logo with A2 steel. And the best in the business of doing A2 steel is Bark River, man. They kill it with the A2 steel. The heat treat is always on point. Um, just a tough, tough tool steel. Cannot beat it. This sucker is a quarter inch freaking thick. Uh, so a big thick slab. And I love the fat, fat belly and the fat width of this blade is just so freaking awesome. Um, and then you do got that just beautiful uh, brass pummel. And it is screwed on here. And actually, they're actually, Bark River does have a video if you want to go check it out how they make these. And this is a full tang. It's a full, it's a full length, this this thick, all the way down. They reduce it, obviously, reduce tang, but they it's all the way down, all the way down below this here. And then they just screw this on to this uh, the little screw to the little 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 attachment. I guess you'd call it a mini little rat tang, but the whole thing is in a rat tang. It's all the way solid, all the way down into this brass pummel. So when you're grabbing, you're grabbing a piece of steel underneath that wood. And talking about the wood. Look at this freaking wood. It's just so beautiful. I guess it's an exotic wood. They say it's close to a Brazilian redwood. The name of this one, let me see, I keep forgetting the name, is uh, Zeratoka. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, or Zer Zerato uh, Zeratoka. But it's like a type of a redwood. Um, it's, a, I guess, a real rare one. Zeratoke or something like that. I'm saying it wrong. I know I'm butchering the shit out of it. But um, just a beautiful, beautiful wooden handle. I mean, look at that again. Look how nice that is. And all the way around is just flawless. They do such a good job with fit and finish. And someone wanted it, someone, one of my uh, buddies on here, uh, subscriber, wanted to see the fit and finish on this. So I'm going to get close here so you can see it. Look how close, look how good they do that. All the way around, everything, all the milling is just perfectly done. Both sides around here, around these little spacers, these white and red spacers here inside. Fat lanyard hole right there. Just a beautiful fat lanyard, um, solid brass. Uh, just a beautiful knife, just absolutely beautiful. And I love it, just a big, thick, fat buoy. I mean, this thing, you feel it when you chop like that, you can just feel the weight going down on it, man. It's just, you think this thing will do damage. And this sucker came razor blade. Let me show you guys here. I don't have no hair on my damn arms. Let me try this arm. <laughs> I have no hair, but I did a sh couple shorts showing the sharpness of this. You can go check out, but even here, look at <laughs> it's It's almost not picking it up, but. I mean, you guys can see right there. Let's see. Can you guys see that, the hair on there? <laughs> yeah, it's a razor blade. <sighs> Trust me, super, super sharp. But just beautiful. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Um, go over some of the little dimensions here. So the blade cutting edge is nine inches. 
The blade total length is about nine and a half inches. Overall length is around 14 inches. And the handle circumference, so around here, is four inches around. So you got a nice, nice, good grip, not too thick, not too thin. Uh, just feels great in hand. Feels great in hand with that wood handles. Um, absolutely love it, guys. I mean, again, I've been looking for this for years. Another grill in the books. Man, just look at this thing. Look how beautiful this freaking knife is. Okay, if I don't drop it on my leg, I have to go to the ER. <laughs> um, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to keep this oiled up because I know this stuff can rust pretty good. Uh, I had a few buddies that have Bark River knives and I see spotting and you see they can get pitting. So you got to keep these oiled up or you got to keep them dry out of the sheath somewhere or condition the blade properly before you put it into the sheath so you don't get no, uh, no rusting, pitting or staining, you know, because this thing will patina real easy too. And if you don't want that, I prefer to stay like this, new looking, keep it oiled up or keep it nice and dry. Um, yeah, just a, just a winner, guys. So I don't want to make this one too long. I just want to show you guys uh, this beautiful, beautiful buoy I got. Uh, lucked out, just lucked out, man. I'm so thankful I got it for the price I got it for. It was just amazing. I think I got it even cheaper than what they went for back then when they sold these or even when they did a couple, the second run or the first run. Um, man, lucking out on this, this freaking bad boy. Um, man, just what a beautiful buoy. What a beautiful presentation knife. This thing is just perfect example of a Marine Raider buoy of a V44. Speaking of that, I lucked out and got a Work Tough V44X um, coming to me uh, shortly here. We'll take that out and then eventually I'll do a comparison between all my V44s. I also have the Marine Raider buoy from on, uh, Ontario Knives. Um, we'll do, check them all out, check the differences and just all these different, you know, they all have their own take on it, right? They all look a little bit different. Even though the same general principle, same history, same classic design, but with every designer's own little twist, which I love. It looks so badass. Um, all have like just their own little like just their own little twist to them. They look a little bit different and just the little differences make it look like a different blade even though they're you know basically the same design. So all right guys please like subscribe share and until next knife gun or whatever.